Well, hello there again. Uh, I'm going to make a couple of axe handles here for these two axes. <clears throat> when I got them, they was all rusty and everything, and that one's polished a little more than I like for them to be polished. This one, I quit on it before I got it polished. And that's, the way I, that's the way I like it. That's the way I like it. Because <clears throat> they're old. So I'm going to make a handle out of them uh, for them, not out of them. Um, out of that oak tree I cut a couple, couple of years ago. But some of the wood, some of the wood is uh, warped and twisted and bowed and, and see that twist there? I've got to get that out of that piece. That's going to be one of the handles. And uh, But I've got to get that, cut that twist out to make a straight handle. So that's what we're going to be doing today and I'm fixing to cut that twist out of it right now it's going to get a little loud um, you may want to turn your volume down a little bit if you if you're listening I'm going to turn on the uh, fan and my dust collector fan and I hope you see what I'm doing. That's the dust. Mm -hmm.
Now that gives me two square edges. But that don't do it. But this one and this one is flat. And that's what I need. Now I can lay my axe handle out on. So I'll, that's my next job to lay the axe handle out. And I'll show you that. Alright, this is the finished piece out of the <clears throat> table saw. You got it kind of flat where I can <clears throat> lay a axe handle out on it. <clears throat> it's not square, but it don't have to be. <clears throat> but <clears throat> I got it marked here. That's the where the that's gonna be the part that holds the head. <clears throat> it's going like that or either like this one or the other. Uh, I believe that looks better. And then that's the, the end of it there. <clears throat> uh, this mark here is going to be the taper coming down. Well, <clears throat> I've got the center lines already marked. Here and here. You, you, you always got to work with the center line. Uh, it's best to. <clears throat> That's always going to be there while you're working. And you always make reference to it. If you get out, you can tell. You don't want it catawampus and that. <laughs> That's my word, it's catawampus. <clears throat> Everybody knows what catawampus means. <clears throat> That's the center line, center line. <clears throat> the uh, handle is going to be about an inch and a quarter deep, inch and a half deep, um, from top to bottom in the way you hold it. So that would be going to be three quarters from that center line. It's going to be the top and our bottom of um, <clears throat> from that center line. <clears throat> so we'll get a three quarter line here and there and up here. <clears throat> Here and here. And then we'll scribe that in. You know what that is? That, that is a termite. I made a handle and uh, when I got through, I was fixing to paint it. And I noticed the hole that was in it. The one that I've never seen before. And I looked in it, and that hole, there's a little white thing there. And I touched that white thing with a, with a pen, and he took off down in there, down in the wood. So, <laughs> it was a termite. A termite eating my handle up. Yeah, no, come on now, don't do that. Okay. <coughs> now down here you're gonna have to you want a little round part down here. You can just work that in. <coughs> and down here this is gonna come out to this point. And to this point. Let's make it a little heavier down here where the you're going to beat it up cutting anyway. And that's my handle layout. <clears throat> now all I got to do is cut it out. Round it up. Screw it up and then cut it out on the side. Because it ain't the right thickness. Uh, <clears throat> I always want to cut it out. So 
for with a straight edge so you don't have a straight handle. So you do the same thing to the to the edge after you get the after you get this cut out. You can't lay it out yet because you're gonna cut that out and it's gonna be gone. So after you cut the handle out, then you turn it over and cut your ever how wide you want your handle handle. Which would be about an inch, inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter. All right, now I got to cut it out. Now it's roughly cut out. <clears throat> this being where you hold it. Uh, that's where the head goes. So I've got it just rough cut out. And now I have to start sanding on it. And cutting out for the head for the axe to go on it. <clears throat> and that's got to go on it there. So, <clears throat> still got a lot of work to do. Work's just um, starts. <laughs> but we'll get it. And there it is. Sand it down. Feels good. Now I got to put the head on it. <clears throat> and it'll be finished. Let's decide, decide to put some oil, linseed oil on it. But <clears throat> next step will be cutting the head down. Okay, see you a little later. I wish you could feel just how slick that is. <laughs> and that is so slick. Oh, slick as, uh, smooth as a baby's butt, they say. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's it. That's my ex. I'm gonna take the head back off of it and put a finish on the wood to protect it from the weather. But that's it. It goes from a goes from a stick to a to something that's worthwhile. Something you've done with your own hands. Makes you proud of it. At least I am. Hope you enjoyed that. I don't know about you, but sometimes getting started is is my enemy. But once I get started, I don't want to quit uh, because I'm started. I'm starting doing something. Uh, so, so I so, so I got two axes. <clears throat>